All right, in this video, I want to teach you how to create uh, transparent photos real easy. You might be asking, what is a uh, transparent photo? A transparent photo is where you have a picture without a background. Um, well, there's actually two types. You have transparent and then you have one with a white background. So you can, you can make, you can get a, a picture with a white background and it will look like this or you can get a transparent background picture and they'll have this little checkerboard on the back in both examples um, it will function the same exact way uh, so both backgrounds will be clear that you can't see uh, the background and um, you can place it on the picture the only thing is the one with the white background here will only show up on white backgrounds so if you have a blue black background like this, the one with the white background will show like this with a box around it. So it only works on white backgrounds, but if you have a transparent one, then it will do it on any background color or any background period. So if you looked at like a few, about a month ago, um, there was a real viral meme that was going out, you know, going online on the internet. And it was this lady who called the cops on uh, people barbecuing. Well, anyway, um, they took this and they cut this picture out and they just kept this part here and made a, a meme about it. So I did the same thing um, just to kind of show you on this picture here. So I, I cut this uh, part of the picture out and left the background. And I, this is what I'm going to show you how to do to cut anything out of a picture. And just remove the background and you can put it on whatever background you want so I'm not I'm not I don't really care about the lady I care less about the story but I did think it was funny with some of the memes that went around so just to give you an idea I made a couple of memes myself using the same format probably old now but it's still funny to me so the first one I made was this one here <laughs> Soul Train Awards and I put on here, you know, they're doing something called the electric slide. So what I did was I just cut her out and placed her here on the picture, right? And um, that's the same picture I just used here. So uh, this is my second one, one of my favorite movies. Uh, he's been drinking coffee and reading a book for hours. Please come get him quick, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> to me, it's funny, so... I don't know if it's funny to you, but it's funny to me. And this is my last one. Rick Ross has a shampoo. So I took her, put it over here. I cut it so that way it'll go with the lines here. And then I blew it up. So I made her a lot bigger. Yep. And then put a little caption right here. But I'm going to show you how to do this with any uh, picture. So what you do is you can find a picture like this here. And this one might be a little harder because you do have like little fur, you know, so sometimes it's, it's hard to get around that. But you can cut this out, put this on something different. Um, this one might be a little hard, too, because you have the um, it's green. It's all green. So it may be kind of hard to take out the green in the back, but you still can do it. But I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do it. Now, you may be asking me. Is this going to cost me anything? Well, I'm going to show you a free method and I'm going to show you a paid method. So we're going to start on the free method. The free method is the best, but you know, sometimes they'll tell you that you can do it free on your software that you have, you know, like you have a photo editing software. Some of them do it expensive Photoshop. If you go on YouTube and look it up, a lot of times they'll give you videos of how to do it on fo on Photoshop. And that's a really expensive program. Uh, and it's not dedicated to one task of removing a background image. So you have all types of other editing stuff in your uh, software that you can use. But I kind of like to use software that's specifically for just removing a background, which um, makes it a little easier you know, and it focuses on, on that task. So I'm going to do two pictures for you. I'm going to do uh, this picture of the dog. I'm going to cut that out for you. And then I'm going to do a bear. A little bit harder, but I'm going to take the background out of this one too, okay? So the first free method that I'm going to 
tell you about is uh, lunapick.com. That's the one that most people go to. I do not recommend it. It is kind of hard to use, but I'll show you um, what it looks like. So this is Luna Pick here, and you can go in here and you can upload a um, picture. Okay, so I'm gonna put the dog in there. The only thing I don't like about this is kind of complicated, you know, as far as using it. Uh, what it, what they tell you is you can take this uh, background out here. If you go to edit up here, you go to transparent background. You can click on the color, and it's supposed to take that out. See. But it's real horrible because it's hard, you know, see how it's going into the actual dog. So all this will be cut out. So, you know, when you click it again, uh, well, you can go in here and do it like this. I don't recommend this because this is very hard to get a good picture. Because it's going to take whatever color is in the background. If the color is in the dog too, it's going to take it out. So you see some browns in there. So it's just not good to use. So what I suggest is one that uses um, the background tool and the, and the object tool. So you can go in here and this is how I did the one I just showed you. You can select what is the background and then you can take this green and you can select what you want to keep and it will keep that for you and you see how it makes the line around it which is pretty cool. And then you have this little slot here makes the brush size so you can go in and zoom in and and tweak it really detailed um, so I, I recommend any program that has the background and the um, the object or the foreground uh, that you keep that's the ones I suggest to you now all of them are going to be in a PNG format ping format for a transparent background you have to have PNG so the free method that I recommend is onlinephotoscissors.com. This is the best one that I've found and it's the easiest one. So I'll show you that. So this is uh, Photo Scissors Online. So I have the dog in here already so I'm just going to show you how to do that. So here's the dog here. So I start the background. You see here it says uh, background. So I just kind of go around here, just kind of make a basis of what we're going to do. Then I do the uh, foreground or the object itself, what you want to keep. So I'll start doing this. And I just kind of do an overview and then I'll go in and tweak it a little bit. So once you let go of the button, then it will pop up over here. So it's already actually pretty good, but you go in here and tweak it a little bit more. So you can hit this, you can change brush, uh, brush size, and then you can go in here. You see the lines kind of get a little bit closer, so you can really tweak it out. Um, you can zoom in, you can make the lines a little bit smoother. See how that made the line smoother. Um, so I want to get a little bit more of the nose. Let's see if that would do the nose. Okay, yep. So a little bit more. Yep, so more of the nose. A little part on the arm right there. Maybe this part right here, make it a little bit more closer. So you get an idea how to do it. It actually did it pretty good here. I do a little bit more of the okay so then you can go over here to smooth and you can smooth it out so see how it smooths it out so that's 10 so that's all the smoothness See how smooth it out here. Um, do a little bit of the mouth. There you go. So that's a pretty good picture. Then you can go in here and just save the picture, and then it will save it to it. And then you can put it on any other background. You can go in here and get it a little bit smoother, and get it, get it, you know, touch it up a little bit more, take a little bit more time with it. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna upload the bear I told you about 
So it's going to drop the bear in there. So you have the bear. So you let go of the mouse. It's easier because then you could just back go back here if you clip too much of something. Just like when you were a kid and you painted or you colored. Bit more of the ears. Do this one be a little harder. Good thing is if you're making like a meme or something like that, it's probably not as you don't have to have it perfect. Um, the paid method I'm going to show you, you can get a little bit more detailed in there. I mean, you can get detailed on this. It's just going to take your time to do it. If you're selling a, a, a product, a physical product, like some headphones and you put it on the table or something like that and you want to white it all out in the background, it may take you more precision, you know? But on this, it doesn't have to be too perfect. I just want to kind of get you an idea. Then you go ahead and smooth it out some. And there you go. You got the bear. Yep. So you got a bear here. And that's how you do it with the free program. And you go back and it will save the ones that you did in here. So that's a good thing when you have an account. You can go in here and hit your profile. And it will show you tutorials. And it will save the images that you did and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Now for the paid method. Um, the paid method... The bad part about it is most of the paid methods that I found charge you a monthly fee, which I don't agree with paying the monthly fee because you don't want to pay monthly for something that you might not even use that much. Um, and everybody's going to say Photoshop is the best, but like I said, Photoshop is very expensive. And then there's some other programs that do it too. Or the photo editing program you might have might do it, but you got to learn and figure out how to do it. Um, but the one I suggest is going to be auto clipping so that is the one that I suggest to you if you have to pay so this is auto clipping here so you can go in here and um, you can just put in the picture it's pretty much the same it's just more detailed so you got your background brush All right, and then you can do the foreground. So we got the bear, boom, boom, boom. And you can kind of go like this, boom, boom, boom. Get some of this hair over here. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. So I got pretty much the bear in here. And you can scroll in a little bit further. It does it a lot smoother, as you can see. It's pretty accurate here. More accurate than what I just showed you. So, okay, so there you go. So we've got a good picture here of, of it. There we go, of the bear. Now this one has um, like a scalpel. So you can take it and like draw like a edge of it here and click it and it will clean the edge for you. Pretty neat. And it has shadows. So you can put like a shadow on there. I don't know what that does. Okay, see how it has a shadow? And um, you can do the edges. So you can smooth it out a little bit further. So I smooth, let me see. Feathering. Okay, so you can do a lot more stuff on here. I don't know what the offset is. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Yep, so that that made it look really good. Yep, so you can get a really good looking looking one there and you can make a background. So you can make a black background. You can make a uh, white light grid. That's the transparent grid. And that's a darker transparent grid. So you can do a lot more stuff and save it and all that. Of course, here, when you try to save it, they're going to get you to try to pay for it. That brings us to the pricing. So the pricing is pretty good. You can do monthly payments, $9 uh, for 300 a month. I wouldn't, you know, me, I wouldn't subscribe unless you're doing it a lot. Um, no subscription. You can just pay as you go. So you can pay $15 to get 200 downloads or or whatever you want to pay. Or you can just do $1.50 for one download. So pretty much one picture is going to be uh, $1.50. So you can do that. Now there is an income opportunity here that you can do with this using Fiverr. If you go to Fiverr and you put in transparent background, you can see uh, people are doing this already. So like this lady here or this guy here or whatever, um, 15 images in three hours charges five dollars for uh, 15 20 for 75 100 for 400 um, so he's already got 512 reviews which means that he's made at least um, 5 12 times 5 I can't add worth shit um, at least two grand you know doing this it, that's just if everybody bought the five dollar service but the people gave him did 20 or the tips and stuff like that he's made some pretty good money with it you have this one they do it in a day five dollars they do one image wow but it's got a lot of reviews here's another one five dollars 15 images 60 images stuff like that so you can go in here create an account and start doing this uh, using the method that I just taught you and you can um, actually use auto clipping if you want to or have a pro or save your money and make and buy a program that does it um, as well as auto clipping and or you can just use them and just pay the monthly subscription and nine dollars a month and if you get some sales from that then you know you get 300 downloads so you get 300 pictures so if you offer uh, 15 pictures you know, you're still in that nine dollars or if you offer 75 you still have a lot left and that happens every month and then you can probably up it here once you start making some money you could do that or you could just buy a program that does it for you you know where where you can go and pay the program price and do it yourself so that's just a way you can make some money doing it too so i just want to uh, thank you for watching this video and um, subscribe and uh, leave me some comments and that way it'll help me find new videos to teach you and show you some stuff thanks again for watching